I've been living with the Tronxy X3 uh, 3D printer for about six months now. And obviously the first thing I need to say is that this is my experience. This is the kit that I got delivered from China. And um, your experience could be worse. Or it might be a lot better. Um, so yeah, there were there were missing parts. Obviously, you don't know they're missing until you start to build the printer, and by the time you've built the printer, it's too late to then go back and say, oh, this part's missing, because they don't do any kind of realistic guarantees. Um, it's, in fact, I found it very hard to actually even contact them after sales. There was no Bowden tube connector at the extruder end. The power supply blew up within the first week or two. That was fun. And it was actually the solid state fuse. Uh, basically, it almost crumbled to dust uh, when we took it apart. And again, fortunately, somebody in the makerspace knew electronics and was able to detect what the problem is. That's not a vital requirement. You can rip that out and it'll still work. So I replaced it with a more powerful power supply. So it's 30, uh, do I mean amp or what? It's sort of a bulky, lumpy design. You've got these sort of bits sticking out front and back and the sides. Common enough, obviously, but um, I think that, that can be improved on. Uh, and in particular, you know, having this sort of separate spool reel and the separate control and power unit is just awful. Um, you know, you just can't pick it up with one hand. So that's probably something I'll, I'll modify. In fact, I've deliberately avoided making too many modifications because I wanted to see what's it like for some poor soul who doesn't have the advantages that I have of having a good makerspace nearby, you know, with people who really know their, their stuff who are able to help me. Um, and, you know, does it work out of the box? And actually, largely it does. You know, a bolt fell out of the pre-built hot end assembly. I mean, it's not a major thing. Um, one day I'll get around to putting it back. The display dies, which uh, it seems to be a common problem. So what would I say about it? Well, um, the design actually is is good. I think it's better than many people seem to say. Uh, you know, uh, people are not happy with um, you know the runners on the extrusion, but I think that that's a really good design, providing they're correctly adjusted. The other thing is the bed. You can see I've now got PEI on there. I used it plain, just the aluminium didn't stick great. I used the painter's tape which sticks too well. You end up with painter's tape in your prints. A bunch of washers and bolts and spacers. That's not a good way of doing the X, Y, Atlas. I would have done better to 3D print something. In fact, I'm working on a solution myself. There's a bit cramped the space and there are issues about the way that the belts operate. Um, you know, if the, if, if the belt is not absolutely in line all the way along its length, then you are going to get variation in tension. Because we're talking about sub-millimetre accuracy. Wrapping the wires, you know, is a really good idea. Keeping things tidy. And in fact, what I've got is a, um, a tie wrap supporting that. And that, you know, as the X moves back and forth, um, that works quite well. But don't be over-eager. Um, I've overwrapped, and in fact, I think that's probably what caused this to break in the first place was that it was all too tightly wrapped. This was pulling over here, and so this was actually not being properly supported. Knowing where things move, you know, don't wrap too early. I would say let it let it move around and sort of see the full extent of movement. Because one of the problems is I had the extruder motor. You know, it's got its wire. I had that quite neatly wrapped up in this bundle of wires, um, which I can't see very clearly, sorry about that. It's red, red tablecloth and red wires, but... Um, and again, when I, when I had it go up, oh, suddenly it's tugging on it. Not a good idea. The other thing is about uh, modifications. You, there are loads of modifications on Thingiverse for this, most of which I think are way overkill. All that I found that was needed is to um, take the bolts out, turn them the other way around than they put in the instructions and then put cable ties on the outside here or tie wraps as I like to call them um, and that is enough to make this nice and stable I mean that is solid as a rock that's all you need and having said all that you know goodness me I love having it it's fantastic 
I don't have to ring anybody or go to the space to do a printout. I can just print out something. I can try things out because the whole thing about designing for 3D printing is iteration. But having to wait in between iterations would be a real pain. So I, I just love having this 3D printer and I'm getting more.